and has been killed, leaving a huge local fan base in shock tonight. NBC 4's Vicki Vargas is live for us in Huntington Beach with this story. Vicki? You know, Chuck, at one point tonight, the crowd was one point tonight, the crowd was so large, police actually had to put their cars out here on Main Street so that no one would get hurt. It is dwindling now, but this is the light pole where Mitch Lucker wrapped his motorcycle around last night. He spent about eight hours in surgery, and then he died at 6 o'clock this morning. His mother says he was born screaming, and it became his trademark. Mitch Lucker parlayed that talent over a decade of bands, initially in Riverside. But he made a name and a success out of suicide silence. The heavy metal band produced three albums and became a staple of the Warped Tour. Their Facebook page has over two million likes. Band member Chris Garza says Lucker was always trying to improve. He's just that guy that wants to improve all the time, you know. He, he likes to master his craft, you know, as, you know, anyone would. According to his wife, Lucker made a choice Halloween night to drink and ride. He had a passion for motorcycles and told friends it was the same adrenaline rush as being on stage. Friends say he was soft-spoken and kind, but also battled anxiety. They say music was how he got his emotions out. He leaves behind a five-year-old daughter. Just make the right choice. Don't hurt your family. Don't drink and drive. Lucker's wife says she doesn't know why he left last night, doesn't know where he was headed. She did find some empty containers at home. She says he was angry, and now she says she is the one who feels the anger. Live in Huntington Beach, I'm Vicki Vargas, NBC4 News.